Alright gamers, what's going on? Insanity coming at you with a quick little XSplit how-to video on how to get a live countdown clock within XSplit for your viewers to enjoy and for you to have a more professional looking stream or digital content creation. Now, the only thing that you're going to need besides your copy of XSplit already installed is you're going to need a software called Snaz. And this is exactly what I use to go ahead and ha either have a count up or count down clock on my screen at all times for my viewers to see. And that is right here. You can go ahead and get it in the link and that's already in the description. It's going to be right here. You scroll down, download Snaz, you install it, and you're good to go. Once you have the software installed, let me go ahead and open this up for you so you can go ahead and follow my every instruction. And I apparently already have it running. It's right here. Boom. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. There you have it. Time date, countdown, text line changer, Twitch viewers, all kinds of stuff. It is a streaming companion app, but more importantly, the Chronos tab is what you want to pay attention to, the Chrono Down and the Chrono Up. Chrono Up is if you're counting up and trying to see how long you've been streaming for. Chrono Down is if you're trying to get an actual countdown. And I'm going to go ahead and use the setup that I already have. One hour, 30 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, message when it's done, it's going to be Bloodborne time. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. This is exactly what I used on Monday night, the Monday before the official launch of Bloodborne and I had everything set up, it was good to go, and as you can see here, this was my screen that I had at the time. It's everything set up, let's play Bloodborne, launch night stream. I didn't get a digital preload copy, so I went to the store and actually got one, that's why I didn't start directly at 12, but I had a countdown clock for 30 minutes after to showcase this is when I was gonna be starting and have all the updates installed. Now, in that starting inbox, how in the world do you get the countdown clock in there? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So, you're going to go ahead and go to add, and you're going to go to text. This is what you need to get this to work. Once you get in here, you're going to go to check the use custom script box, and go to edit script. Click on the drop down bar, and click local text, I'm sorry, yes, load text from local file, my bad, excuse me. <laughs> uh, click the three dots to browse, and it's you need to go into your folder for SNAZ, go to text files, and go to Chrono Down, since that is the one that we currently have activated in the SNAZ program. Go ahead and hit Update Text, and instantly you notice numbers pop up on the screen behind me. Now, that just looks really funny because it's so many things going on at once. But more importantly, let's go ahead and bring this back up. Here's my screen. Here's my countdown clock, and I'm just going to move it and size it as needed for my box. Move it on over and boom, voila. A perfect countdown clock for you to go ahead and showcase to your viewers when you'll be back, how long it'll take for your stream to start, or how long you've been streaming for if you're using the Chrono Up. If you've enjoyed this quick little experimental how-to video, please go ahead and let XSplit know. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you all in the next video.